Thank you very much. Sam, you're next, uh, followed by Alex, and then Jerry Matsui. I am next, and my name is Sam Bellamio. I'm here with Stand Up America. I like what that man had to say. He's right. We're your employer, you're our employees, and we're about to celebrate over 200 years of our Declaration of Independence on the 4th of July, which is coming up in two days. And yet, the thing that we signed a Declaration of Independence from was a rich aristocrats in England, and now we have more of the same. Nine aristocrats sitting before us, passing laws uh, to the commoners who you pander to to keep your $120,000 a year salaries, which is not representative of the average income of a Seattle uh, citizen. My problems are that you all agree with the fact that the forum should be open up for general discussion in your committees. You have papers that say, sign up for general discussion, which this committee can handle. But your laws, your rules within Seattle Charter says you can only speak to an agenda item. So we went from a constitution that said freedom of speech to everyone to Washington State Constitution, which broadened it said freedom of speech, but you have to be held liable for what you say. So they know that people are going to use it maliciously, but they didn't. But then as soon as we come down to the sea level, you guys just yank it from us and tell us, please be silent unless we give you permission to speak about a topic. You only open up the floor to issues when it's a hot topic. So therefore, it's only opened up for the one moment that I'm mad about something, but what about those little ideas I have that can create change in Seattle? You don't want change. You can't change a simple rule which you agree with me with because you create the time within your committees for me to speak. But you will not change Seattle law to say that it is required for citizens to openly address you? What are you guys doing up there if you can't change a simple law? If I came with something even more difficult, more complex, would you be able to understand that? I'm not too sure. You can't understand that I'm telling you right now that your actions agree with me, but your laws say, sorry, I can't open up the agenda. So, yeah, it's a mental problem you have if you cannot understand this. I believe you can, and you're not doing anything, which means you're corrupt. Thank you. Thank you. Alex? Hi, my name is Alex Zimmerman, and I represent Stand Up America. We stand up for people, ordinary American guys. It's a big holiday today in the United States of America. 200 years ago, Americans stand up against tyranny. It's a first in, last e in new history revolution what is bring freedom to everybody, liberty to everybody. 200 years later, we have a pure fascism with Gestapo principle. We build a system who more dangerous than German Nazi with Gestapo or Soviet Union with KGB. It's exactly what is we have right now. Sorry, guys, how many times we told you, give us chance, speak three or five minutes in every council meeting legally by constitution, by freedom of speech, you breach everything. How many times we talking about this? Hundred times, it's never working. How many times we told you, mayor, with you, post be said every week here, like all city in state doing this. Why Seattle ha have exception? Nobody know. To us, you look like a nine senator. I'm sorry, you're not a senator. Maybe you're senator, but only looking like example. Sorry for my understanding like from banana republic it's exactly who you are we demand bring mayor here so he sit down with you every week and listen to people like opposed to be by constitution we need bring us country back i don't told you bring back 200 years ago bring back to right now make a correction make something fundamentally change because when out fundamentally change nothing will be happen for the last 30 years, we destroy everything what is possible. You know what is I mean? If we have uh, many examples in history, from big countries to small countries, exactly the same situation. It's time to come back, guys. Come time back to what is we did 200 years ago. Viva United States, viva Constitution. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jerry Matsui, followed by Dan Dixon, then Ability Bradshaw.